Okay, good morning. Today I'm going to give a talk about apathy and yeah, essentially what we can do to overcome it or at least be with it. Um, how to, yeah, to be with apathy in our life when we're feeling apathetic and we can't be bothered to do things. Okay. So, I am here uh, in West Yorkshire today. Uh, it's a very beautiful morning, uh, very beautiful weather, and it's quite warm for West Yorkshire, I mean North Yorkshire. So uh, I was looking at an email that I received a well about a month ago, but I've only just seen it, about apathy. Someone was asking me the question, how to deal with apathy. Now, yeah, this is something which comes up in my life, that sometimes I can't be bothered to do things. I either don't have the energy, or it's like, yeah, I can't be bothered to get out of bed almost. And you know, the question was, you know, I feel apathetic at the moment, how do I deal with that? And for me, what I've learnt over the years is and especially this last a couple of weeks ago I went and spent 10 days in the monastery I used to live in and I found it very powerful to yeah just to feel into um, what to do with challenging emotions as they come up and apathy can be one of them and I think in the Buddhist way there's no emotion which is wrong per se and therefore if you're feeling apathy that's okay we have to make friends with it and the way that Thich Nhat Hanh, the Vietnamese monk would say is you know being mindful with that spending the time so you're breathing in breathing in I acknowledge I feel apathetic breathing out I befriend and I smile to my apathy breathing in I feel my apathy. Breathing out, I smile down to my apathy. Breathing in, I feel my apathy. Breathing out, I meet my apathy as a mother would the child. So it's really important when we're feeling these types of things. It's to acknowledge them within ourselves. When we feel these types of things, it's to yeah, befriend them. Too often we try and push them away by doing something else, doing something which pleases us, or which will distract us. And the Buddhist practice is to be with it, to acknowledge, mm, I feel apathy. Now, one of the practices that I learnt I've learnt over the years is the practice of just saying this too will pass and we say that when we're feeling good when the weather's beautiful and when we're feeling on top of the world we say this too will pass that means that the energy and it makes it that much easier when we're feeling the apathy to go this too will pass as well to know that that's the only constant really is change so I pause these videos and I might get distracted it's because people are walking past and so I'm pausing the film as it is a busy morning so yeah so this thing about this too will pass it's like practicing that's our practice and it's the same with meditation we practice when we're feeling great and we practice when we're feeling apathy we practice when we're feeling angry we practice when we're feeling depressed because it's that acknowledgement that they're all parts of ourselves due to our childhood, due to our upbringing due to the present moment of society we really connect with that and we let it go so just coming back to the moment this is what I feel it's like bringing our awareness and consciousness to everything so if you're feeling apathy brilliant brilliant that's that's where you're at at the moment and it will pass it does pass 
the weather changes, something changes, and it will pass. And it's not getting attached to it passing. Just being with it, patiently being with it. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, I think coming back to some notes I've made, you know, the question was about basically feeling apathy towards life and and it's okay it really is okay to feel that there is no right and no wrong and the Buddhist way is we're not trying to change ourselves and be any different than we are it's like we want to be sorted we want to be perfect because that's what we're told by the West by our advertising and actually we're individuals we have our um, our ups and our downs, uh, some days we're feeling great, some days we're not. And that's all part of ourselves. So yeah, so this is a little reflection about apathy and I hope it makes sense. And yeah, just remembering this too will pass, that, you know, really breathing, connecting with this feeling, befriending it, and noticing how it does eventually go. So. Take care and be well.